Hey guys, this is Blueberry7497, and I'm going to be demoing, uh, taking a quick look at the camera application. So if we go ahead and unlock this to the left, we can get straight into that. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is up here there's an icon. Kind of hard to see, but it says A with the little lightning bolt for auto flash. Then we have the uh, toggle camera to the front-facing camera. There's me right behind my uh, iPod. Then if we go ahead and hit the settings button, we can get access to the flash mode, the white balance, exposure, scene mode, and the three dots will bring up picture size, 5 megapixel focus mode, whether it be auto, infinity, or macro. And uh, the store location to be able to uh, geotag it. Uh, then we can restore the defaults. Next up, we have the video recorder, the video camera. And again, we can toggle the front-facing camera just by clicking that icon, which is much easier than it was on Gingerbread having to go through with two clicks. Um, then we have the settings for flash mode, on or off. Um, then we have uh, uh, white balance, the faces effect. Uh, we have squeeze, big eyes, big mouth. Small mouth, big nose, and small eyes. Time-lapse interval, which will allow you to record a video and have it be played back much faster. Um, kind of nice for documentary like uh, videos or uh, just videos you want to be played back. Maybe like a sun sunset video. Um, camera settings, we can store the location or restore defaults. Uh, there is no option for 720p, unfortunately. Um... Then we have the panoramic mode, which uh, lies right here, and um, just a small little box. And basically, I would just go through, and uh, I'll go ahead and do this for you right now off camera. So let me get some of this. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, by the way. I uh, in my previous video I mentioned that I lost my voice. But I will continue to make these videos because I know you guys like to watch them. Okay, so I've just taken uh, a panoramic video, uh, um, panoramic shot rather of my um, bedroom floor, and this is a uh, probably about half of the bedroom uh, right here. So you can see it went through and it um, condensed it into one panoramic mode. Now when you go here, you can uh, share it through Bluetooth, uh, Picasa, let's see if you can, oh, kind of hard to see. You can share with Picasa, uh, SMS, um, Google+, Gmail, Messenger, or Facebook. Um, then if we go in, we can take a look at it. So you can see that that's much more than what a, uh, the average camera uh, could take, which is pretty nice. Pressing the back button, takes us back of course um, so that was a quick look at the camera um, one thing I'd like to mention is if you press the menu button that those are the only settings you or menu you have switch to video panorama or switch camera um, clicking this icon will just take us to our most recent picture which was this one I just took and um, that was a quick look at the camera oh one thing I would like to mention is uh, <clears throat> is Movie Studio. Uh, this kind of pertains to the camera app, and I will, if you guys like, I would go, I will go through and do another video using this. Um, this will allow you to create and uh, edit movies. I hate to make the comparison, but much like iMovie, um, in that sense, where you can add uh, some some music at the bottom, you can add a clip, some fade in effects, fade out effects, and some uh, some other effects with the general video. Well, um, that was my review of the camera. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know what else you guys like to see, and I will be sure to uh, make a video. Till next time, this is Blueberry7497 signing out.